hair got all, you know. Hello, my cuddle bugs. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Anna Marie Mukbang, and today is Wednesday. And you know what Wednesday means? It is Grandma Phyllis's recipe Wednesday. So, today's menu is something that we used to eat quite often. I played softball and t-ball and all these different <laughs> baseball things you know and so the quickest thing after school before my grandma could get us um so get us fed and get us to our game on time she always had this dinty more beef stew on hand and now it has no preservatives i'm pretty sure it had preservatives when she was feeding it to us but we didn't die so she would actually get a big can this is just one small can um but the thing is that this is very high in calories. So one cup is 200 calories. This whole entire thing is about 450 calories. So I cooked the whole thing. The reason I cooked the whole thing is because I don't really care right now. Because I started my new job today. And if you don't know, I just moved back to my old team and a different position within the same company. Um, but still, it's my first day. I'm learning and setting things up and all this chat. So... I haven't eaten all day. I skipped my first break. I didn't even realize that I didn't take it. Lunch comes around and I went on my 30 minute walk, didn't eat, and then my last 15 minute break, I had to force myself to take and go on another walk because I already missed my morning walk. I already missed my first 15 minute walk. So all I got in today was a 30 minute walk and then my 15 minute walk, so 45 minutes. Anyways, let's dig in because I'm hungry. So Dinty More Beef Stew, if you don't know what that is, I showed you the can. It has potatoes, carrots, usually has like two pieces of beef in there, beef, and gravy. And does it tell you what it has on here? Beef, potatoes, carrots, corn flour, mushroom extract, and a whole bunch of junk. Other stuff. I wouldn't say it's junk, it's just like, not, I wouldn't say it's preservative stuff either, like salt, sugar, flavoring, corn starch, potato starch, tomato paste, salt, things like that. How you make beef stew, that's what they put in there. And then, so we would, me and my sister would split a smaller can like this, or we'd get the big can and eat it, all three of us, and we'd have leftovers. So we always had pieces of buttered bread with it. Just like that. And so then what I always did is I loved the gravy. Mm. Oh my God, you guys. Mm. You guys, that's made it worse. Holy crap. I have not bought this since be when I lived with my grandma. Not in college, not in middle school, nothing. So tasting this again, it's like the flavor never left. Yes, I've had like beef pot roast. I mean, my dad has a beef farm. Of course, I've had beef pot roast. All these kind of things, but this is so much different. Just regular water to drink. This is so good. The first thing you get when you taste this is salt. If you like salty foods like me, mm-hmm. Mm, very good. Do you guys like Dinty more? Mm. That is so good, you guys. Mm. so I did want to share like a story and I kind of did already and I have a massive headache you guys <laughs> not eating all day not drinking anything all day like it's just not normal for me and I have a massive headache Colton's also running a 102 fever don't know where that came from but anyway I used to do this too Mm. 
So, a lot of time we would eat this. Like I said, when we're going to T-ball, softball. When we needed something fast but filling. And honestly, I didn't really like eating this before softball. Because the potato part is so filling that it would be hard for me to like run. But it was fast. It was efficient. Got the job done. Mm. <laughs> it does taste amazing. Actually amazing. Like, if you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. Holy macaroni. Mm. I think one of my favorite things on this earth are like cooked carrots like this. Mm. So let's talk about the memory of my grandma taking us to softball. And when I say us, me and my sister, we grew up together. And so grandma would feed us this dinner. And then we'd be out the door with our softball gear or t-ball or it went on for years people and so grandma like in the summer and this and and towards the fall because that's when our softball leagues were and we had this convertible i believe it's a 1968 chevy We actually still have it, so my dad's garage at the farm. And honestly, it's been in my family since I was, before I was born, way before I was born, when it was first in a brand new car, and I still can't tell you what it is. But it's like bronze colored, has tan seats. It just, the convertible was awesome. I loved the convertible, and when my grandma was taking us to practice in the convertible, we already got looked at, like we already got looked at for having classic car. Which to me back then was embarrassing. And because everybody would just stare, oh my god, there they come, you know. And I didn't realize, like, why are they staring at us? Because we had a nice class car, okay? <laughs> but my grandma, to make it matters worse, my grandma would freaking blast Phantom of the Opera. And when I mean blast it, I mean like blast it, like the trunk is bumping with Phantom of the Opera. And so we would always show up at practice with the same Phantom of the Opera songs on. My grandma was blasting it and my grandma pulled it up like a cool grandma, okay? It was so funny. It's like she knew it embarrassed me. So she would just pump the music up even louder. But honestly, that's one of the memories I cherish the most. Because when I think of my grandma, I think of the convertible and I think of Phantom of the Opera and other things too. But those are definitely in the top 10 that I think about. And my grandma, this convertible was her baby. Her baby. So one time, this is just kind of with the convertible story. One time, my dad took us out in the convertible. I think it was like 10, 11, 12, I don't know. Um, he took us out in the convertible. And my grandma was at home. She said, you better not hurt my baby or my grandchildren. Like, she said, you better not hurt the, uh, us. <laughs> Excuse me. My dad, he was going like a normal speed, but there was something going on with the, the engine. So he was like, he couldn't speed. He wasn't going to speed, you know. He wasn't going to do anything crazy. Because you just, when you get in the convertible, all you want to do is speed, okay? I've driven the convertible. My grandpa has two convertibles like this. One was baby blue and one was, no. One was cream, one was baby blue. They actually just sold the cream one. <sighs> anyway, around the same year, I think 1972s. One's a Skylark, one's a Skylark, and one's a something else. Anyway, so we knew it was having engine problems, so my dad was being very careful and babying it. You know, because it's expensive to, to fix these classic cars. Um, we we're just like in the middle. Like there's a exit here for the belt line and there's an exit here, right? And there's probably like two miles in between. The convertible caught on fire. So I don't know what happened, but there was like this bang. 
from the engine and all of a sudden there's flames coming in through up until my dad's like forearms from the air vents the vents that come in you know into the convertible um like for air if you had the hood up and you had air conditioning on or heat or whatever and the flames were engulfing my dad's forearms um literally he sped 120 miles an hour to get onto the damn ramp because we thought the car was going to explode so he ran every red light everything because he didn't want you know we're in the middle of the belt line there's no way if the car explodes we're all going to be injured if not killed and so he sped up he got off the belt line literally 120 miles an hour fastest I've ever seen with flames going up his damn arms like literally I kid you not you can ask my dad driving like this with flames up your arms getting burnt the hell out of and your two daughters are sitting right next to you like because I used to sit in the middle because I was smaller at that time and my sister used to sit by the door and then nobody sat in the back seat because your hair got all you know yeah that's what happens in the wind car and so he pulls into the Jiffy Lube and he runs inside and we get out as fast as we can and then he comes back outside and he sees that the car didn't explode yet so he <laughs> grabbed the bowling balls out of the back seats and <laughs> threw them over on the grass and then the, he's yelling at the guy hurry up hurry up my mom's gonna kill me like my grandma was pissed she was pissed because the whole dash was ruined It was melted down. We had to get it towed. It did not explode. The guy came out with a fire extinguisher and everything was okay, but that's a lot of money to get that fixed, you guys. That was just one memory. My grandma was pissed. Don't get me wrong. She was happy that we were all okay and not hurt. But she was pissed. She was like, that was my baby. And you went all and got flames all over it. Now she can't embarrass us and drive us to softball with Phantom of the Opera because <laughs> she wouldn't drive the car. For, I think it was a couple months before it got fixed. Mm. To this day, you know, they say that spirits attach onto things that they love. I swear... She's attached to that convertible. My grandma collected bells, which I'll talk about in another video. She did the convertible that was her baby, and then me and my sister. These are things, and I feel like if you believe in spirits, uh, I bet I guarantee you she freaking she visits. I swear. That's story another story though. I hope you like my video. There was a question that I said I would discuss in this video, so let me just throw it out there. Um, this person said. Did I ever bring my boyfriends around my grandma? No, because I didn't start dating anybody until I was like 17. And my grandma passed away. Well, my grandma went to the nursing home when I was 16. And so I was actually living on my own. I was at my aunt's like for a very short time. And then pretty much everything I had to do by myself. And so, no, my grandma didn't ever meet a boyfriend. I would never bring a boyfriend around my grandma. She would love it. I don't know. I don't know. She. I don't know who she would love. I don't mean, I don't even know if she'd like that my son is mixed. Um, I really don't know how she felt about that because we didn't really, we weren't at the age that we really discussed that and I was scared to death of everything. So no, my grandma never met any boyfriend. The one regret I do have in the world is the one person I would ever want at my wedding is my grandma and she won't be there. She won't be there. My mom won't be there. I mean, I don't even know if my grandparents will be there. So, I mean, it is what it is, but that's one regret in my life is that my grandma died too soon in my eyes. And I'll save that story for a later day as well. Like, comment, and subscribe, like I said. And have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you. Bye.